out wholesale against uh, someone as combo heavy as Joker. So going for the faster option and the faster option, the smaller option, and the more combo heavy option that uh, that is Mario. But so far, the only one doing the combos is Mercury. Chalk on 51, a little bit of a uh, Bryce getting a single one two there, keeping it respectable. But Bryce finding it kind of difficult to uh, just keep uh, Mercury take down. Because you do have the, ah, oh, just out of options. And another thing that uh, Mario doesn't have going for him uh, is the recovery options. Uh, DDV has that, you know, don't mess with me up B. But Mario, you know, just limited recovery in just terms of just range. But up B in terms of combo potential definitely has that in pocket. He nearly claimed the Mercury stop there, but with Arsene in hand, he is just able to run over Mario. Already chalked on 40 while he is still in with the stock advantage. Gets the Makara Karn out. Recognizing that, you know, as a DDD, he's going to want to throw out uh, either Gordo or Fireball in that mid range when he doesn't know when to uh, when to advance on the, uh, the opponent. But still able to clean it up. Able to claim the stock. Bryce still, again, with the combo potential Mario, he is still absolutely... Uh, able to uh, take this out of Mercury's hands. It's going to be very difficult, though, because Mercury, again, playing that mid to far game, letting uh, letting Bryce move in. And uh, catching Bryce off of any, uh, any ill-timed moves. But if Bryce can just be a little bit more patient, recognize that uh, Mercury's trying to keep him off his toes. And if Bryce can keep himself on his toes, find a lot more benefit. And I like how, I like the presence of Bryce. He's starting to switch it up, noticing that Arsene is starting to not be a factor as Mercury just squeezes in the last hit as Arsene goes away. Able to make Arsene work out on the last hit. But now Mario could definitely be the one in the wheelhouse here. Especially with the ledge guard situation, Mario can be very, very dangerous. Especially with that uh, that up smash, playing the lives of probably the, the most stocks you see out of an up smash. See up B, both getting back. Great job with that bear, uh, landing bear and then up smash. Spot dodge, trying to find a uh, reverse up, uh, a dash in, then reverse up smash. Not gonna find it though. Gun again, gonna be able to stifle it out. Gun proving a lot of stifling uh, characters that need a lot of combos. Stifles a lot of either their pursuits in or a lot of their combos wholesale. Finally finding purchase with that up smash. 86. Might need to get a little bit of risky, uh, risky options off stage. But he is keeping, or he was rather keeping Mercury pressured on that ledge. So that Mercury does have to use the gun to either stifle out his approach option, because again, Mario has to get close. Down throw, gonna let him hop out of it though. Probably trying to read something off of it, but uh, Mercury, great job to hop out of it. And that's why the second time around, Bryce was not gonna mess around. He was gonna get something off that down throw if it killed him, and he did. 67, but he also got Arsene to boot. Finally, use of the flood, finally showing his hand, saying, All right, I'll let Arsene go away. And that's when Mercury keys in. He's going to say, All right, you're going to let me have Arsene. I'm going to just run him right over you. But Bryce able to play back and forth pretty well that time around. But no Arsene needed damage already done. Joker can handle himself. And he hands Mercury that first round win. <laughs> great, great job from Mercury there. Is that Mario pick sort of worked out for him? Again, I, I, I mean, Bryce can absolutely prove me wrong, but I, I want to see that the Mario pick is the right pick here. Maybe he has another character that could potentially do better, but uh, it is not in my knowledge if he has it. 
think we're getting a full run back here, Dylan. Obviously in terms of stage, but also in terms of characters. Actually, okay. Questioning it. Uh, advantage of King K rule. I'd have to think about that one. Obviously, belly, but I mean, that doesn't net you a whole lot when, again, it's Joker versus either a big character or a heavy character. That's just Joker's basically his win every time. So, again, I think the Mario pick is the, the best option for Bryce. In terms of play style, let's think for a sec. I want to say, again, Mercury maybe got a little. Uh, Bryce sort of let him, I, I don't want to say he sort of let him do it, but it was noticeable where Mercury sort of got a little too cavalier with letting, uh, or Bryce letting Mercury have that mid-range freedom to do uh, what Joker does, basically throw out Ahas, Aegons, and uh, Gun Cycles. And uh, very quickly takes that first stop. But still, yeah, absolutely within, I was going to say, 85 damage tacked on before that combo and uh, kill hit there. Uh, Bryce was able to very quickly change his gameplay style. Goes for the, the bear dunk off stage. Uh, another something that uh, we could see. He could pursue a lot more off stage and potentially. I mean, it is a toss up against Joker, but he could potentially get that fair dunk in. That notorious fair dunk that everyone knows about Mario. He's racking up those combos, but also racking up that Rebellion's gauge and getting Arsene out, but being fearless. When staring him down. But also, now that the, the the paradigms have shifted, have to be so, so cautious when our Sen back Joker does get that one hit it, uh, in. It is so beefy, just of a noise, let alone the damage. And again, the pursuance, again, off stage. As I said, Joker proving such a, uh, a pest off stage. And he can claim stocks. You're closer, closer to the blast zone if you have the damage on. Uh, you might not be able to find uh, kills on stage as Joker, but you can certainly find them off. Bryce looking through the same fantastic parry into the up smash. He had the power up. He saw the yellow eyes there from Mario, and he uh, utilized it to its fullest. Great job waiting in shield and got the recognition that uh, Mercury landed in front, so he got the grab off of it. He's to find one more combo, but again, Mercury being a lot more volatile, being a lot more quick with uh, Joker's options. Wouldn't let Bryce on, and but now that he is on, his dad is back. Arsene in the wings. Simple down tilt, and we'll see. Going for the uh, counter there. Great. Wait out and kill Bryce. He has stage control. This will burn out Arsene as well. I'd say just let him. All right. Oh, just very narrowly avoids that animation uh, and squeaks by the up smash. And the down air will claim that round. And another one going to Mercury. <laughs> A lot of people questioning why it killed. Joker can find kills. Surprising, I know. I know. But he still has it within him. <laughs> I mean, look, he was off the left side of the stage. He was the closest to the blast zone he, he, that he could without being off stage. It was going to be the on stage hit that would have killed if any of them would have. It was that one. So. Mercury getting the clean 2-0. Looking for the 3-0, though. Bryce is going to have to pull off the uh, not impossible, but the rarely seen, especially, especially with Mercury being so defiant as to say, I can use your main better than you. We have the Ditto DDD coming in. Two, one, go. Mercury... <laughs> Looking to get that mentality, looking to shake Bryce to his core. But you said, oh, you using, you using my boy. Let me show you a few uh, things. Right now, he is sitting on stage and one in control. Nair, nair, nair from both of them. I mean, this is going to be a slog because once they get to this mid-range, we're going to see Gordo Gordo every time. 
didn't go for the uh, up air, uh, instead opted for the forward air. Maybe forward air is the more damaging one, and maybe that's what he's pursuing with the, you know, staring down your, uh, your ditto heavy character there. I would have liked to see the Nair come out there. Nair into great recognition. Finally back here there, Tom. But again, Gordo, Gordo bounces him out, reverses the stage control situation, and that semi taunt. No, that, 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 no, not semi taunt. My mistake. That is DDD's taunt. He doesn't have any other taunt. Avoids the Gordo that time around. Tries to go for the Trump Nair. Probably looking for Trump Air would have been better option. Goes for the sharp option again. Bryce knowing when to utilize that hammer to fall off up air or to fall off jump off air. Colliding Gordos when worlds collide. But still, the net is that Mercury's on stage. Being as his tag describes him, a very nasty man for doing this to Bryce. Anyways, no, Mercury's still a kid. He's a nasty kid. He's just an angsty little kid saying, oh, I can do it better. No, <laughs> no shade thrown at Merc meant there. I, I didn't mean to do that. But on the other side, Bryce saying, yeah, all the shade. Throw it on, mini boss. I don't want him uh, doing better with my character. So far, he's doing just that. He's able to stay on 187 damage, no less. Able to live and tackle on 65 damage. DDD, that, that's a good start against DDD. It's still running with it, 187, and now, again, DDD off stage in prime position. To throw out some quarter of his zone again, mid range, drawn out another one, another collide. Jesus. Mercury a little scared to move in, sitting on shield, sitting at that mid range. And a collision, DBZ going out, but still the net positive going to Bryce. As he is getting that nasty child saying that anything you can do, I can do better. And he's saying there's no way that you can use my main against me. Basically saying to Mercury, just like your, uh, your uh, color choice here, you're basically just a shade of me. You're a pale ghost compared to me. Getting that back air in, Defiant, nearly untouched in terms of a heavy character, and he's already tacked on 127 off that uh, that DBC trade. Bryce defiantly says, get off my character, get off, and learn some manners, says Bryce. He says, go back to your boy, that boy is mine every day of the week. Giving him the 2-1. But again, if <laughs> even though he got the win with DDD, I still think we're going to see the Joker Mario come back in. No, he is feeling the vibes off of it. That this might have been this might have been Mercury's long-term chess game here. He might have wanted the D, the uh, the Ditto so that Bryce could have gotten a win. So you're starting to feel the vibes with DDD. And that goaded Bryce to pick DDD in the clincher round here, or the potential clincher round. This might have been like a five-head move from, from Mercury, playing a Star Trek 4D chess. We'll see if, uh, if that was it. But so far, I mean, he brought out DDD, and it's working, <laughs> surprisingly, a lot better in Bryce's favor. Chalked on 84 damage, knows he can get the damage in, and I mean, basically, with the, uh, so long as he can keep toe to toe with, uh, with our, uh, with Joker rather, uh, he can keep the damage on. He has the, just the nature of being a heavy character. He can tank a couple hits as Arsene a lot more than Mario. So I might have been ill advised in thinking that, uh, that DDD was the weak to pick out of him. He can stay on toe to toe, and Bryce just has the 24/7 uh, heavy character that Joker does not have. That was a quick bouncing Gordo, and quick to bounce back on stage and gain stage control yet again. Bryce just on stage, not letting the Gordo do the work. 
Wow, so just a double, that triple, that was a triple feed on Rebellion's guard. And that is why we see Arsene very quickly right back out. He told him to go to bed once, closed the door, and then he heard the, uh, the switch turn on. So he was right back in that door and going deep with it. Stayed there for a couple more minutes. Very, very dominant 3-1. Up smash, finally, finally. I mean, Joker is the light character, but we saw him survive to near 200%. That, that is some, that is some opposite day uh, craziness there. Goes in with the inhale, great little basic to Gordo as well. Arsene, gotta be fearless. I mean, it's a 2-1 situation. You have to get that damage in, and you're a heavy character, you can survive it a lot more. Stage finally after just the beat up gun. But he's just gonna jump over and inhale. Great option. Baiting out the uh, counter as well. But Arsene gone. Looking for that kill hit. Looking for the uh, finishing blow for this second stock of Mercury's. Will he find it? Or will this high, at least in my opinion, high IQ move from Mercury to go Bryce into DVD work out for him. It's the hops. Cannot avoid the Gordo, but the gun the last second redirects the Gordo. Second time around, gonna miss its mark. Third time around, finds purchase, but it, he was low enough where it didn't cause any concern. Can get the grab off of the fourth? And the back airs! Rage included, people! Rage included! That was Another why did it kill moment, but again, I'm sure it can be explained. And the uh, the final explanation for this here is Mercury advancing on. Losers finals going on to Grants for the rematch. Gonna send out Bryce there. But again, the Bryce, Bryce he got the get off my character moment, so yeah. Mercury, you know, they, they won uh, they won wars on their own terms. They both had wars, they both won them. Just in the long term, I think uh, Mercury's is going to matter just a tiny bit more, <laughs> at least for right now. So now we have Losers Finals coming up right away. Mercury already on stage. Yoda Cage very quickly getting in there. Wants to ride off of the momentum he's had tonight. We'll see how this Joker Bowser Jr. matchup unfolds again. Both combo sentry characters. One has an edge in terms of uh, going up against a heavy character. That being Mercury and Joker, gonna have a little bit of an advantage. But we did see the lengths that Yoda Cage will go to in order to claim wins off of him. And again, that's why we're seeing the swap to buy left this time around. Violet, like Mercury mentioned before, and as I reiterated, he can just do what Joker can, but with a lot more stronger attacks. He doesn't have to rely on Arsene because they're already, uh, already included. And the great debate, is it Morton or Lemmy? The great debate here for Yoda Cage. Is he gonna uh, represent another one of the, uh, the Koopalings here? Or is he gonna go with his tried and true? I think he's actually discussing it with another Bowser Jr. out there. With uh, Sweshy, I think it is. I, think that, I honestly think that's the only discussion that they're having right now. <laughs> Which coupon should I use? So, I'm going to take a quick swig of water. I'll be right back.
gotta hydrate, especially if I'm doing solo commentary for tonight. Trying to make sure not to injure my vocal cords either. Even though I'm finally getting a deeper voice. Can you believe it? After 29 years. <laughs> Yoda Cage finally getting uh, <clears throat> the advice or whatever he needed. He finally got, finally sitting down. And deciding at least from my eyes right now to rock a Morton. All right, here we go. Mercury, as I said, 29. Yeah, my voice 